Today, I'll show you how to do your Binance crypto taxes in the US. Hello, my name is Nelly from Coinly and welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about Binance in the US and specifically how to do your crypto taxes with the assistance of Coinly. So the breakdown of this video is pretty straightforward. I'll tell you a little bit about Binance as if you don't know um, already what Binance is. Um, and then I'll jump into the integration. We have the CSV file option and the API method. So you can do um, either. Uh, and then I'll uh, show you how to get the necessary tax documentation, which is really straightforward. And then lastly, I'll leave you with some resources if you need further assistance. But without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Okay, so like every tutorial we're gonna do is sign into our Coinly account and we're gonna head into the uh, wallets area. Here, we're gonna click on add wallet and then we're gonna type in Binance. And there's actually a few different options. We're talking about Binance US specifically today. So we're gonna click on this one. And then we have two different options here. So we have the auto sync um, API method, which is recommended. And we also have the import from file. Obviously I'll show you both methods, but I'll start off with the setup auto sync. And just one small thing to note here, fiat purchases are not imported um, not, are not returned by Binance US API. So if you have fiat purchases that you'd like to import, you can either do those manually, which I made um, a video on, I'll leave in the top right corner of this video, or you can just import that information using a CSV file. But let me show you where to get the API uh, key and API secret from Binance. Okay, we're here on Binance and in the top right corner, we're going to hover over our email and then we're gonna select the API management option from this list. And here we're going to create an API, give the API key a label. So we'll call it, let's say Coinly. And then uh, we'll be asked for some verification stuff, which you can give um, Binance, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so once you've entered those uh, verification codes, you'll get the API key, which is right here. So we're gonna copy and paste that key into um, Coinly. Then we're gonna go back and we're gonna copy and paste the secret here as well. And just a few things to note here, only the um, can read option is selected. None of these other ones uh, should be or need to be selected uh, and it should be unrestricted. So like I said, Coinly is not really interested in anything else besides reading the transactions you have so it can help you calculate your capital gains and things like that. So let's go back into Coinly and we're going to click secure import and there we have it. Okay, so that's one route for importing your data. This is the second option. Once again, we're gonna go back and add another wallet. So let's type in Binance again, and we're gonna click Binance US. And this time we're gonna click import from file. And now I'll show you where to get this file from um, Binance. Okay, so we're back on the website again in the top right corner. Once again, the email hover over it. And this time we're gonna click tax statements. And here is the section we are looking for. Export statement, generate and download a ready to use document containing your trade um, and deposit and withdrawal, um, buy and sell, OTC and distribution records. Okay, so you're gonna click on export statement and here you have you know your yearly report or your quarterly report. Make sure to import all your information. So if you had Binance for a couple years, make sure to import all the transactions from all those years um, because Coinly needs this information to calculate your capital gains um, because it needs to know exactly when you bought a certain crypto and when you sold it. So without that information, without your total transaction history, it won't be able to do that. So um, anyways, yearly report, select the year and download the document. And once you've downloaded that document, um, make sure that it's in a Excel CSV format and then you're gonna copy and sorry, you're gonna drag and drop it into Coinly and you're going to click import. And now all your transactions will be imported into Coinly. And going into our wallet section, we have the Binance um, transactions now imported here. You can review all the different transactions you've made, the currencies that you're dealing with, um, you know, check all the information, make sure it's correct. And then we're gonna head over into the tax reports area. And this is a fantastic place to just monitor and keep track of your crypto activity throughout the year. So you can know your capital gains, your income, your costs and expenses, all that information is going to be here. And at the very bottom, you're gonna select a tax plan that is appropriate for your needs. And as you can see, we have plenty of different options for plenty of different countries, but since this is a Binance US video, I'm assuming most of you are going to want the IRS Schedule D Form 8949, or you can also export TurboTax both online and desktop versions. And I've actually made a video, which I will also leave in the top right corner of this one, 
for those of you interested in the TurboTax US guide. But that brings us to the conclusion of this video. As always, I'll leave some resources down below if you need further assistance. I'll start off with the Coinly Help Center where we have countless different articles on uh, various crypto tax related topics. We have a feedback section where you can report bugs and other issues you might be having. We have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can send us an email directly. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this video. If you found it helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribe for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.